Hello and welcome in another pet battle achievement guide from BFA content leading to family butler. This time around I want to show you how to get achievement called critters with huge teeth. Oops, mount popped, wrong button. So defeat 15 master tamers with in, on cool Tyran or Zandalar with 25 level critters. 15, not 19. There is 19 of them max. Quint and Grady Pret are off. They're too tedious to record it. It was annoying. So I just didn't. There is more than I should record, so I hope you find it useful. As always, you can skip between trainers. And yeah, if you watch it, just tell me you exist. It's important for me. Because I'm doing it for you. Yes, you. Okay, so no hard pets uh, to get are involved. Some holiday pets, mostly you can buy on auction house. Nothing very special. Critters wasn't that bad to do. Compared to aquatic, critters were okay. They don't, they have problems with beasts. But as you can see, I did defeat Dilbert McClint with the critters so it's doable but you need to put a lot of effort and yeah in order to produce this video it takes a lot of time because i'm working on tactics then i record it it's 15 plus fights so those video comes in time i have a life life as it is so it it's just trying to cope it but nevertheless there you have it. Enjoy watching. Good luck with your achievement. And till the next video. Already fix it. What did I brought? I brought with me Crispin. It burn crowd flamethrower. Lava beetle. Burn, Cauterize, Scorch Earth, and Fire Beetle. Same skills. Need assistance? Off and away. Obviously this, is fight, uh, this fight is very easy. Start with Crouch. And go, go for Flame Thrower. We want to have this uh, debuff burn up all the time. Obviously we got debuffed. Doesn't matter. Uh, burn again. It technically does more damage. Technically. But yeah, sometimes it just crap. Okay, flamethrower again. Once you run out of debuff, get crouch. Okay. And now burn, and let's hope it's gonna work. Obviously. Well, it's gonna die anyway. Yeah, so we got it the first one. Uh, flamethrower. And you go we're gonna die after this. No, oh, actually we're gonna have one more. Oh, because we have the crouch. Okay. So, burn. Nice. And one more flamethrower, if you can fit it. Just to have this debuff. It's very handy. Dots are very handy. Bring beetle, any kind of beetle. And mm, I would like to hit it once. So let's try burn. Oh, never, never count on RNG. So all you have to do is keep up the flamethrower and crouch up. And if it dies, you just go for the for the next one. And heal yourself a bit. Scorch Earth. So it's not tactic one to one. Just do your best. Those pets do massive damage and this fight is very easy, so whatever you press it's gonna work. Unless you messed up. There you have it.
On Elivarin I brought Dust Bunny. Dust Bunny is very easy to obtain. I have a video, I'm gonna put it in the... somewhere here on the screen. It's very easy to get it. It's, this bunny is good if you get the var, uh, speed speed variant. There is only three of them, so it's it's really to get it. So Dust Bunny, Flurry, Dodge, Stampede. Then Lava Beetle with Burn, Cauterize, Scorch Earth, and Fire Beetle with the same skills. So we start with Dodge. We're faster than him. It's very important to be faster than him. And only the Speed Speed variant with Breed uh, gives that. Sometimes he does sweep, which means he gonna swap us with different pet, then bring it back. That's, that's just... Okay, now mm, what we can do is to flurry. Yes. Now dodge. And just flurry. It's all about not getting uh, damage. Now we can just press stampede. Doesn't matter on this pet, but we're gonna have apply. Uh, we're gonna apply the on a corrupted slime debuff right away, and we want that. Ugh. Weakness. Crap you. Okay, but we still have dodge. See, this way we have a dodge when we finish Stampede. So, we apply Stampede again. Yeah, we won't have that debuff, that's, that's just it. I could do Flurry, it would do more damage, but we're gonna lose Shattered Defense debuff. And, in, and we don't want that. So, pet comes in, we use Scorch Earth. Kapow. Shattered defense, he melted. And now just burn. Ooh, that crit, you mud. And cauterize. Would be nice to drop Scorch Earth one more time. But sadly we didn't. So we're gonna do it now. Yeah, that crit was nasty. And now burn gonna finish it. Oh yep, yeah, there you have it. Quite easy. If you have Dust Bunny, please get it. It's turbo easy. It's a shame if you don't have it. You should be ashamed. Scooter the Snail, Ustad, Acidic Goo and Dive, Dark Moon Hatchling, Peck, Screech, Peraltory Strike, didn't heal. And Lava Beetle, Burn, Cauterize, Scorch Earth. We apply a city go. Then dive. Next, Ustad. And another Ustad. Ugh, unless this. Oh, Ustad again. Okay, that's nice. If you can, apply a CD goo, obviously. And go for... Ugh, dive. If you manage to dive, it's, it's really good. And... Yeah, that's it. This... Void Cyclone is such a... Uh, uh, never mind. Okay, one peck. Help! 
and predatory strike. Would be nice to apply Screech. And that's lovely. And Peck. If you cannot do it, you might restart. It's very important, because this pet, if it's faster than you, it's a beast. Uh, bring Lava Beetle and Scorch Earth. And burn. There you have it. Critters are awesome because they cannot get stunned, and my warper stuns all or interrupt you all the time. So, yeah, it's very, very good. Delia Hanako is another very easy fight because we bring pets that counter aquatic. So, Lovebird Hatchling with Alpha Strike and Predatory Strike is. Okay, is a bit of a waste. Uh, Bush Chicken, Flock, Squawk, Headbutt, and Dark Moon Hatchling, Peck, Screech, Predatory Strike. Favor, so, obviously, go for Alpha Strike. We're faster than him, so it's very good. Gonna apply Dots. So, Lovebird Hatchling is a goner. Two Alpha Strikes and Predatory Strike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very weak pet, so... I actually thought I'm gonna, like, kill it. Damn. I'm getting old. Okay. Here, go for Squawk. Once you have Squawk, Flock. Old Blue comes in, Squawk again. And Flock. You want to apply Flock. Shattered Defense. That's the debuff you want to have. Oh yeah, that, Lovebird Hatching is just to kill the first pet. That's it. And here, press headbutt or whatever. Oh, predatory strike was actually tilted from previous one. And yep, there you have it. In case if I messed something up, just comment. Offer orphaned Marsul with flurry crouch survival. Noble Garden Bunny with Flurry Dodge Burrow and Dust Bunny with Flurry Dodge Burrow. Basically, Bunny that it's very fast. Good day to you. Smooth sailing. Start with Crouch. And Flurry. You're faster than him, so you, you have the Flurry advantage. Flurry again. Basically, flurry till you kill it. You press survival when you're about to die. So it gives you two turns extra. And that's the, that's the goal. Here, go for flurry. And survival. Hmm, huh, actually not. Survival again. I mean, flurry again. And then flurry to kill it. Obviously, we die, but it's no, not non-important. Start with burrow.
Uh, I'm not like playing with uh, just to survive. I just want to bring it under 600 HP. So I use burrow, then dodge and flurry. He gonna detonate himself. So all we have to do is just bring it low. Doesn't matter if rabbits survive. It's it's basically one. Webbit. And bomb, there you have it. It's quite easy. Critters are just killing undead. So this is the easiest one of them all. For Captain Hermes, I brought Bosch Chicken with Flock Squawk Headbutt. Lovebird Hatchling with Alpha Strike Hawkeye. Eh, Hawkeye doesn't matter, and Predatory Strike. And Darkmoon Hatchling with Peck. Ah, Screech, and Predatory Strike. This fight is obviously easy, because we countered this drastically. Apply Squawk. And now just flock. We reduce the damage by 25%, so it's just cool. And yep, there it have it. First down. Second. Same story. Squawk. And flock. If it survives, use headbutt. Oh, uh, it survived. Oh, damn. Okay. That's a nice surprise. And now we can headbutt. And we're slower than him, so we're not gonna be able to apply squad. Too bad. But it doesn't matter because Alpha Strike. Alpha Strike again. And it should be enough to kill it with Predator Strike. Or it's not. God. Doesn't matter, go for predatory strike. If it kills it, it kill it. I mean, sometimes it can crit, right? So I would go for it no matter what and just finish him off with whatever. Like I said, it's just very easy fight. Grassland Cotton Tail. I mean, any rabbit that has enough speed to beat it, to be faster than 273. Yeah, so your, your rabbit must be faster than this, and this rabbit must have Flurry, Dodge, Burrow. They need to be faster. Then Amethyst Softshell with Ustad Shell Armor Dive, and Mud Shell Conch with Ustach Acidic Good Dive. These pets. Oh, Amethyst Softshell is actually faster than next two, but Mud Shell Conch is not. It's very powerful, however, it does have a lot of HP and power. And that's nice. Okay. Start with Dodge. Is he gonna go for Darkness? Now Flurry. We're faster than him, so we have advantage, so we can use Flurry. Ugh. Go for Burrow. And if it's mess, you can just be angry. And Flurry should kill it with 300. But it didn't. Ugh. Why I'm I'm keeping dodge. I wanna keep dodge on the 
on this pet, so start with dodge. Because he's gonna apply the, yeah, the rock barrage. It does hurt sometimes. And go for flurry. Once. And burrow. Flurry again. Yeah, if you survive, go for dodge and, and just wreck it. But most likely you won't. So we bring Amethyst Soft Shell and dive. It survives one turn. And just finish it off with Ustad. And because you have speed advantages, advantage now, it's very important to get shell armor. Is he gonna slow you down? There you have it. And just press ability you have, which is Ustad. And once you can get dive, use dive. Speed Adventure is back. And Ustach again. Shell Armor again if you can. And just finish it off with Ustach. Done. It was easy. Well, Micah Skarn, as always, bring anything that heal. Seriously. Or just avoid damage. You can bring bunnies that do dodge and burrow. But you can also uh, re reindeer bring which nature's war and bleed, or perk up and wish Sir Reginald works. I mean, anything. Just just survive eleven turns. That's it. So you can watch how I did it, but it's just no biggie. So skip to another one, because all you have to do is survive eleven turns. But yeah, if you like my content, I'm gonna just talk. If you like my content, please leave a subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and I'm trying to break 1000 subs. Because it's the way for me to get some money. And faster I get money, it's gonna be easier for me to build up my recording room and start making much more videos. So yeah, you'll help me just sub subbing. So if you can, please do it. I'll be a, uh, I will I will be really grateful. Let's turn 10 and there goes 11. At they at 11 they start suiciding themselves. So easy. There you have it. So, yeah. Leave a like. For Dilbert McClint, I didn't came up with this tactic. Because this fight is massive pain for critters. 
So I got inspired uh, from the internet and I'm using some one tactic. It's not mine, but it's, it's effective. So what I used, I brought three bunnies that are speed speed breed. So they're all faster than 325, which is the fastest pet there. And all have flurry, dodge, burrow. Yeah, 325 is the first one. So what we want to do is use dodge at the start. And go for flurry. Flurry again. And burrow. We gonna hit it with burrow. Ooh. Yeah, 900, because it does so much damage. So sometimes you might get lucky and you actually avoid Burrow with Dodge if he goes for it straight away. So it's pure RNG. You need to keep that in mind. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're gonna kill it. Yeah, so I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. And now we have Dodge on the next pet. I mean, you don't need 325 on the other pets, you might have, like, you need Noble Garden Bunny, the fastest one. Then you bring Bunny that is actually stronger. Okay, go for Flurry. Keep flurrying. Yeah, it would be nice if we survived that, but we did not. Uh, go for burrow if you can and just flurry to finish it off keep dodge always on the uh, on the two attacks so you're sure you're gonna dodge two attacks and here you would just waste it one uh, charge now dodge start with dodge and flurry Sorry again, because we don't have anything. And burrow. So here. Usually I would bring something Grassland's Cottontail. It has good speed, which is faster than this. But the power is, is much more higher than this one. So... Yeah, I I kind of messed up telling you you bring these super fast pets. But it works. So dodge and flurry. It's just good tactics. So whoever you are, whoever you design it, thank you. And yeah, I copy it because I want to help you. It's not my tactic. That's it. Noble Garden Bunny with Flurry, Dodge, Burrow, Max Lock, Ustacha City, Good Dive, and Bush Chicken. Lock, Squawk, Headbutt. That's the combo I use for Zujai. Start with, we're faster than him, because we're faster as fast. We start with Dodge. And Flurry. Go for bro. And flurry again. And now you should be able to finish him off, but you might not. So flurry if you if you're about to kill him. If not, just apply dodge and then finish him off. But if you have dodge on breaker, you have like one to two attacks. One. Mwah, mwah. 
That's what we use Max Lock for. I said it go. And dive. Ugh, boost touch. I feel like this dive is just useless. Despite, yeah, attack reduction, okay. Yeah, it's just, just crap. I see they go. Maybe avoid dive. Hmm. Nah, it's still better. You avoid one attack. Yeah, all you have to do is apply a CD go. Then go for squawk. And flock. If you get transformed into frog, well... It's not gonna happen, because you're a critter. And critters are immune to CC, so yeah, it's done. Ta da! On Talia Spark Bro, I use Void Scared Rat. Creepy Chomp, Feed, and Blood Fang. Noble Garden Bunny, Flurry, Dodge, Burrow, obviously fast, and Amethyst Soft Shell, Ooze Touch, Shell Armor, Dive. It's You can use any other snail, but it has to be faster than 260. It's 262, so Amethyst Soft Shell is very good option. What can I do for you? See you soon. Okay, let's start it. Start with Feed. Creepy Chomp and Blood Fang. This way you're gonna heal. Use Creepy Chomp till you can use Feed. And Feed. If you're lucky, you can use Bloodfang to finish him off. Most likely you're not lucky, but sometimes you might be. Doesn't matter, cause we gonna do dodge. And flurry. And flurry again just to finish him off. Okay, he gonna use uh, yeah, Sandstorm. What we wanna do here is to burrow. Because we don't wanna... Oh wait, he's faster. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's faster. I forgot about that. Doesn't matter. Dodge whenever you can. And sorry. As you can see, we do not do much damage to him. We're like tickle his testicles. Thank God he finished our misery. Yeah, it's it's nice to use Bunny just to like do any damage to him. But now use shell armor. And ooze touch whenever you can. Yeah, that cook and strike is annoying because it l uh, blocks our attack. Now we use dive. That was. We used Ustach, we bro brought it down and we used uh, Dive just to avoid being uh, hit it by weather, by the Sandstorm. Sandstorm would kill us here, but 
because we uh, use it Ustach twice. We got it under. Uh, we lose. God damn. Okay, one more time. We hit him, him so hard he lost his flying buff. So he was 260. We're 262, which is faster. We use dive, avoided sandstorm, hit him hard. Then we finish him off with Ustach. Done. Ah, words are hard. Anyway, there you have it. It's that's why Amethyst Soft Shell is very, very, very good here. Next on the list, Karaga. For him, I use Noble Garden Bunny with Flurry Dodge Burrow. Lufa, Spirit Fireball, Moon Tears, Illusionary Barrier, Max Lock, Ustach, ACV, Good Eye. First pet is a need to kill lazy, right? So apply dodge and flurry. Then go for burrow. And flurry. Next dodge again. And flurry. And flurry again, but we're gonna die. No, we didn't. Okay. Flurry. Yes. Yeah, it's it's very hard. It's beast after all that it counters. Now we die, it doesn't matter. Okay. As long as we don't die... Ugh, okay, apparently dodge didn't help me there. Wah wah. Too bad. Uh, apply Moon Tears. I'm not sure if it's needed. Uh, always something. And go spam Spirit Fireballs. Spirit Fire Bolt, you're gonna be able to use it once. And then twice, uh, Ustach twice. Moonfire is still up, so we do more damage. Bum, done it. Easy. Da -da -da -da. For Lazo, I use Dark Moon Hatchling with Peck Scratch Predator, Screech Predator, Predatory Strike, Max Luck with Ustach, Acid Goo, and Dive. Yeah, there's nothing more. And Flufa with Spirit Fire, Bolt, Moon Tears, and Illusionary Barrier. Start with Screech, because we want to reduce his damage. He's faster than us for some reason. And go for Peck. I think. Ugh. Pack twice should be. Yeah, pack twice and predatory strike. Which is very good. Mule is gonna swap us with lowest HP pet, which is Fluffa. Apply Moon Tears. They don't have magical damage, so it's fine. And Spirit Firebolt. Okay, usually crit is not that powerful, but it helps. You need to two Spirit Firebolts. Go for Illusionary Barrier. Pass first. And then press Spirit Fire Bolt on the second. And again, Spirit Fire Bolt. 
Oh, yeah, too much damage. Wah, wah. So all you have to do is boost touch twice. Or just dive. Finish it off. Because when he's in cocoon, he's slower, so you can just dive. Oh yeah, there you have it. Quite easy. On Corval, I use Scooter, the Snail, with Ustach, Acidic Good Dive, Noble Garden Bunny with Flurry, Dodge, Burrow, and Max Slug with Ustach, Acidic Goo, and Dive. Max Slug is, yeah, whatever breed. I thought it's a fast one, but it's not. So here, you wanna apply Acidic Goo and Dive. Uh, he went up. It's very RNG, so you might restart sometimes because he used liftoff from time to time. You just need to hit it. Sorry, it's just rough. Go for Ustad. And one more Ustad to finish it off. So sometimes you just might not make it with scooter, but it's it's fine. But if you do, ah, uh, city go and and Ustad. Noble Garden Bunny is to counter uh, counter this uh, this pet. So go for dodge. He explode, but not gonna kill you. And bright is obviously gonna gonna wreck bunny, but that's what you have, Max Luck. Obviously, use use bunny till till you die. And turn for max luck. So, fly a city go. And hit it with Ustach. Wise. And there you have it. Counter for each pet is applied and doable. When it comes to Sizzik, I used Bush Chicken with Flock, Squawk, Headbutt, Amethyst Softshell with Ustach, Shell Armor, and Dive. And peanut, trample, trumpet strike, and headbutt. Are you here to help? It's important to have. Okay, first you should know by now. Whatever you press, you get swapped. And the lowest, next lowest HP pet comes in. And because I have a met soft shell. And Peanut, they have a lot of HP, and we counter the, the pets we have. So start with Shell Armor and apply Ustach. We're still slower, so just Ustach three times. Ustach. Yeah, he's gonna dive, so we can dive as well. We're gonna get hit, but he's gonna get hit. Well, armor. And just do damage.
same story. Just apply dive. Let's speed this, uh, things up. It's really long and hideous fight, so just finish it off. And now, Squeezer comes in, and we want to swap for Bush Chicken. And on Bubble, we use Flock. It breaks uh, Bubble right away. God, I hate Bubble. We apply Shattered Defense. And because we're faster, we're gonna just wreck it in a second. Hmm. Second or two. Okay, Headbutt. Yeah, we did it. Shattered Defense did it again. So, yep, there you have it. On Kusa, I use Spinemau Gromling with Bite co uh, and Burrow, ignore Corrosion, Orphan Marsul with Bite, Crouch and Survival, and Deep Wood Leaper, Leap, Wood Tipper Ravage. And I'm actually thinking, which one should we go up? And I think I'll do it like this. So, Deep Wood Leaper as a second pet. You've got my ear. Remember, everything has its use. Start with Burrow. This way you avoid damage. And just bite. Your only job is to do damage to the first pet. And survive. Yeah, you need to hit the second pet one more time. Rowley, and bite him. Pow. Now he burrow. Then you die. And deep wood leaper. Go for wood chipper. And then leap. And ravage. Ravage again before he applies shield, which is bonkers, then wood chipper. And ravage. Obviously you die, but it's faster. And then bite. I swapped it because Wood Chipper does, I mean the Deep Wood Leaper does more damage quicker. So you could do any other way. Seriously, bring pets that do damage to, to critters. If you do it right, you're fine. But Spine Maw Grumbling is very good because it's faster than the first pet, which means you avoid damage from Sandstorm by using Burrow. Done. And the final one is Kyo. For Kyo, I use Mug Slug with Ustach Acidic Good Dive. Well, yeah, exactly this. Spine Maw Grumbling with Bite, Corrosion, Burrow, and Darkmoon Hatchling with Trample, Screech, and Predatory Strike. One day at a time, Predatory strike actually good. Yeah, it's good. Remember, everything has its use. Start with dive. We wanna uh, uh, want to avoid get feed, and then ooze touch. You're gonna crit you a lot, so you need to ooze touch three times, unless you crit him. Which is not gonna happen. Tika comes in and we wanna use Acidic Go. Dive. Only to not get damage and Ustach once.
Then we bring spinal spine more grumbling and we use bite. Then burrow. Sadly we're slower than him. And just bite. Sad he heals quite a lot, so just spam bite. And done. That's it. Critters are done, so thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. If yes, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Just tell me you exist. And till the next video. Take care. Bye bye and good luck with your pets.